Good morning. My name is Karen Farrell. Today I'm going to be discussing the benefits of art therapy with you. I come from Colorado Christian University and my professor is Yvonne DeMoss. Art therapy is the therapeutic use of the creative arts. It can include drawing, painting, and the performing arts. The American Art Therapy Association lists the educational requirements for an art therapy master's degree. This can include courses that cover the theories of art therapy, counseling, psychotherapy for individual group and family, ethics and standards of practice, human creative development, and multicultural issues. The assessment and evaluation and research methods, and this could include participating in internships. I want to share with you a wonderful story about how a boy was helped through art therapy. It's called The Boy and the Ghost. A boy had choked on a chicken bone, and he had no medical evidence of the obstruction. The doctors did tests, and they couldn't find anything in his throat but he stopped eating solid food. He lost a bad amount of weight. They were really nervous. Well, they were suggesting that he take art therapy at the hospital. When the boy drew a ghost on a tree, he had thought that the ghost had put a spell on the tree, but then he discovered that the ghost no longer lived there. The boy was symptom free for six months after the therapy. Some of the benefits of art therapy are the ability to explore feelings, reconcile emotional conflicts, foster self-awareness, and manage behavior and addictions, develop social skills, improve reality orientation, and reduce anxiety. Art therapy can also increase self-esteem. Using therapy in a hospital setting can be really beneficial to a patient. It can distract them from pain, relieve their stress, and calm post-traumatic stress disorder symptoms. It can enhance coping skills in both adults and children. Having dementia can really rob people of their joy and their memories. Trained staff can help people with dementia by providing a safe and fun environment. They can use an individual approach which empowers the artist. The participant can choose their art medium and this builds self-confidence. The drawing analysis of Freud was used by Paul Pittner in his book Drawing Conclusions learn about yourself and others through drawing analysis. The theorist Sigmund Freud said that everything we do is purposeful and that what we draw as well as what we don't draw has meaning. Theorist Carl Jung expanded on this work of Freud. He said there were two types of unconscious mind the personal unconscious and the collective unconscious. He studied cultures around the world and found that they used many of the similar symbols in their drawings. I conducted my own experiment asking my son, who is 12, to draw a house, a person, and a tree. I gave him colored pencils and a tablet and granted permission for him to participate since he is a minor. I told him to draw as much detail as possible. The first drawing is of a house. You first note whether there is a door and a doorknob. If there is not a doorknob, then the house will be a prison and the person will not feel safe. In this drawing, there is a doorknob and a door, so that means that the artist feels safe there. You next look at the windows. If there are windows, then it means that the artist has a willingness to look into their past. There are two windows in this drawing. One is up above 
in a higher level and the others down below level to the door. If a window is level to a door, that means that the artist feels that this is an open and inviting house. The number of windows in a drawing of a house can represent the number of family members. There are two windows, which makes sense because there are two members of the family living in this home. Colors can represent different emotions. Red would represent anger and blue would represent the male figure. It was a little disconcerting to think that this artist is an angry male. Next is the drawing of the person. It represents the artist's self-conception. There are hands drawn on this figure with marks representing the fingers. It's possible that these hands are balled into fists. The arms are swinging and it seems as though this person is on the move. The eyes looking out represent that there's a willingness for this artist to make contact. Next drawing is the tree. It represents growth. Leaves on the tree mean that it is alive. There is a positive outlook on life for this artist. The God of all creativity wrote in the Word of God in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. From nothing God created the earth and the people in it. God is our healer and he wants to heal people. In Mark chapter 4 verse 22 it says, For whatever is hidden is meant to be disclosed, and whatever is concealed is meant to be brought out into the open. The benefits of art therapy are many. It benefits both adults and children. It brings self-awareness, healing, and there is satisfaction for both the artist and the therapist. God uses creativity as a healing tool. This concludes my presentation on art therapy. I truly hope that you've learned something and that you've enjoyed watching. And I appreciate your listening ear. Thank you.